Hello everyone, thanks for clicking. And today we are going to discuss a very important grammatical phenomenon. So to begin with, look at the example sentences that you see on the screen now. And the first thing I ask you to do is find the subject in this uh, sentence. So what's the subject of the first sentence? Of the second one? of the third one. If you were puzzled, uh, it means you understand everything correctly for now, because there are no subjects in these sentences. But there's a problem. Russian language, as we all know fairly well, and as these sentences prove us, can easily do without a subject in the sentence, unlike English. So when the English want to express the same idea, they need to find the subject somehow. So what might they do about it? Try to come up with some ideas. Obviously, the easiest one is to put a formal subject like it, they, people, somebody, and so on, yeah? Like for example, saying, somebody is solving your problem, yeah? Or when did the Moscovitz build the Kremlin? Or someone will present me a puppy, yeah? And so on. But if we don't want to go this way, is there another solution? Yes, there is. And this solution is called passive voice or just the passive. So the passive is a special grammatical structure which shows that the subject didn't do anything, but something was done to the subject. When exactly do we use it? For starters, obviously, when we don't know, don't care, or it's obvious who completed the action. Yeah. My iPhone was stolen yesterday, and I've no idea who did that, right? I really hope it will be found soon. No matter who finds it, yeah? Uh, another case is on the first side, the opposite. When we need to highlight the doer, yeah? Like this photo was presented by my granny, yeah? Or, War and Peace was written by Tolstoy, not Dostoevsky, yeah? Next, the passive helps us to sound more formal. For instance, when talking to a friend, you are likely to say, mm, they will deliver your order tomorrow, yeah? Whereas if you're working as a pizza delivery boy, phoning your customer, 
you are far more likely to say your order will be delivered soon, sir. Yeah. Another thing is to avoid responsibility. Like, for example, there were two children at home and there was a cake in the fridge. When mom comes home, she realizes that the cake is gone. She asks the kids, where is the cake? It is eaten. Yeah. The son answering doesn't want to take responsibility. He doesn't want to say, I ate it. On the other hand, he doesn't want to blame his brother. He doesn't want to say, Jack ate it. That's why it's like, it is eaten, no matter who ate it. Yeah? So, uh, if we consider the verb forms and tenses, yeah? We must keep in mind that there are absolutely the same verb forms in the passive as in the active, at least in theory. Some of them are hardly ever used in practice, but in theory, there are all the same grammatical forms. Yeah. Now, Look at the example sentences and work out the rule. Yeah. So look, they repair. Yeah, we have present simple. The cars are repaired. They are repairing my car is being repaired. Yeah. They have repaired. A lot of cars have been repaired. They repaired this car. This car was repaired. They were repairing. The car was being repaired. So, Look at the example sentences and try to work out the rule. How do we make up passive sentences? Look, we need two things. Yeah, We need the verb to be in any tense in the active and the main verb always in the third form, always in the past participle. So like this, yeah? Let's have a closer look at how this works in certain tenses. For instance, present simple, yeah? What are the forms of the verb to be in present simple? M is R, right? So we say M is R plus the third form. The work is done. Similarly, past simple, the verb to be becomes was were, yeah? The work was done yesterday. Future simple means will, yeah? Will plus infinitive, so it's will be. The work will be done tomorrow. Present progressive or present continuous, yeah? How do we form present continuous? It's is am are plus in form, yeah? So present continuous passive gets is am are being, yeah? The work is being done at the moment. Passive tenses 
are being explained to you right now. Past progressive or past continuous works in the same way, but we have was, were, yeah? Was, were being done. The book was being read when I came home, yeah? Future progressive, future continuous is very seldom used. That's why it's not here. But in the rare cases when we need it, we just say will be being. Yes, I understand it sounds really strange, yeah, but this is what it should be. All right. Will be being. Mm -hmm. Then present perfect. So to make a present perfect, we need have has plus the third form, right? The third form of the verb to be is been. So we say the work has already been done. Yeah. Past perfect works in the same way, but we need had. Yeah. The work had already been done when I came home. And future perfect. The work will have been done by next weekend, right? If we need to form perfect continuous, yeah, then it's gonna be have been being, no matter how strange it sounds, yeah? And if we wanna use future in the past, for example, in the reported speech, yeah? You just put would instead of will. Mm -hmm. Now, let's have a look at how this works with the modal verb, yeah? So in the active, we usually follow the modal verb with the bare infinitive, yeah? You must go. She can read. This means that in the passive, we need be in the bare infinitive and the past participle. The problem must be solved. The documents are to be signed, etc. Yeah. Now, let's have a look at how we change from active into passive. By the way, uh, can we change any active sentence into passive? The answer is yes, as long as the sentence has the object, yeah? So the first thing we do is find this object. The action we are describing is directed at what, yeah? So in our case, it is directed in the telephone, yeah? That's why the telephone becomes a subject. Next, what do we do with the verb, yeah? We put it in the passive form in the same tense. In our case, invented is past simple, right? We've just seen that past simple in the passive is was, were plus past participle. That's why we say the telephone 
was invented. And then the subject of the active sentence becomes the object of the passive. Yeah? The telephone was invented by Alexander Bell. By the way, the two most common prepositions in the passive are by and with, since by is used with the doer, yeah? Like the house was built by my grandfather, or lots of people are employed by this company. And we use with to talk about instruments, like meat should be cut with a knife or food is eaten with chopsticks in Japan, right? So I hope that's it with theory. And now let's move on to some practice, yeah? Use this uh, hints to make up a story. So look, if we have the marker yesterday. What tense do we need? Yes, that's past simple. So we say Sarah because uh, something happened to her. Yeah. So we say Sarah. Then in the past simple, it was were plus the third form was kidnap is a regular verb so i say was kidnapped and i don't forget to double the p yeah sarah was kidnapped yesterday next look we have a marker before yeah before what before this yesterday, right? So what tens do we need if we if our timeline looks like this? Yeah, this is present. This is yesterday when Sarah was kidnapped. And these are threatening calls. So we need past simple here. And what about here? The past before the past. You were right if you said we needed past perfect. Yeah. That's why it's going to be threatening calls had been made. Yeah. Threatening calls had been made before. Yeah? And now, guys, it's your turn. Continue and complete this story. Feel free to post it in the comments below if you want it to be checked by me. So thanks for watching, hope it was useful, and until next time, take care. Bye.